So recently I had a, uh, a very unfortunate incident happen in which a tree fell on my house and came all the way through the roof and the ceiling and as an unfortunate side effect this got rained on for a couple hours uh, so it is no longer functioning. However, we still have cars to fix. So I think it gave me a perfect opportunity to make a vehicle that I think is going to help you guys a whole lot. So what I'm go going to do, uh, this video is uh, just kind of to preface a couple of the videos coming up. This is going to be uh, walking through the tools you can get for cheap. Uh, and when I mean cheap, I don't mean like, you know, 10, 15 bucks total. Uh, you can get these tools, I believe, I paid total less than $150, and you probably get it cheaper than that, uh, but to diagnose and fix your vehicle. And this is without having to take it to a shop, just following some of the steps that I'm gonna you know, lay out in certain videos here. Uh, but this video is just gonna show you what those tools are, um, and, and where I'll tell you where I got them and maybe find help you find a place you can get them cheaper. So let's jump into looking at these tools and uh, we'll talk about what they are and what you're going to use them for. Okay, so the first batch of tools we're going to talk about came from good old Harbor Freight. And let me get the Harbor Freight coupon here. Alright, so what we have here is a basic meter. Um, a test light and then some test leads or jumper wires uh, and for these total I don't think any of them were on sale I think just normal prices this came up to right at right over $32 so the meter was 23 and then like three and a half or 350 360 so Right over, just a little over $30, you can get a meter, a test light, and some test leads. These, this is going to be very helpful. This is going to be the basis for a lot of the testing that you're going to do. Uh, test light, I mean, I mean, you can't really do a whole, I'm um, okay. You can't use it for everything, but you can use this for so much uh, that if you're going to be diagnosing anything to do with electrical on your own vehicle, you need a test light, you need a meter, and these are going to be very helpful too. Uh, the thing is, I have a meter that I use, and you guys have seen me actually use the meter on my scan tool, which is now a waterlogged, uh, useless thing. Anyway, but you've seen me use the meter on that, but what I have that kind of takes the place of this, of this, and this is my power probe. But instead of going out and spending, you know, a couple hundred dollars on a power probe set, you can do it with a meter, a test light, and jumper wires. <clears throat> so those, just over $30. First bits of stuff we're gonna use, we set that off here. Oh, goodness. Next one, super, super expensive. These are T-pins. Now these are actually the bigger, thicker ones. I should have gotten the smaller ones. They sell them a little bit smaller, uh, and I might go do that. But I picked these up at good old Walmart for like two and a half, three bucks, somewhere in there. Actually more expensive than they used to be. I, that was ridiculous that much. Anyway. These we'll use for back probing connectors, certain things uh, when we need to leave something plugged in but still read voltage on it. And we'll use those in conjunction with these and also test light sometimes. So, sewing T-pins, you find that in the sewing aisle at Walmart or any sewing store you have. Now here's the big one. <clears throat> this is the one that's gonna take the place of my scan tool. This is, it says scan tool, see? Now, this is where I say you're probably gonna be able to find a better price. This one cost me $100. Well, okay, it cost me $99.99, plus tax. Where is it, somewhere? So, you can probably go on Amazon, eBay, somewhere, find something that will read the check into the, the, the global OBD2 codes plus the ABS codes and that 
for, you can probably find it for under $50. The thing is, uh, to do a couple of the videos that I'm needing to do and get these done, I don't have the time to wait. Uh, so, I had to purchase this at a local store. You don't have to go with this one. This is uh, Innova. But um, uh, I know Autel makes some smaller handheld stuff that would probably be just fine for working on your own vehicles, just trying to fix a couple things. Uh, in, a number of companies have scan tools that will read the global OBD2 side as well as ABS and uh, uh, airbag systems. So this is going to be one of the big players in what we do and it was a more expensive piece but bear in mind I still got all of this stuff right here for under a hundred and fifty dollars I believe this is 32 plus 4 yeah for yeah hundred under 150 dollars I believe and this stuff is what we're going to use in the next few videos Oop, I'm going the wrong way to diagnose vehicles and show that you can do this without a huge investment because if you even one of these fixes one of these repairs if you took it to a shop you'd end up paying more for this in labor for some of this stuff as even in diagnostic fees in some cases uh, to to find out what's wrong with your vehicle and you purchase this stuff and you can find out what's wrong with it over and over and over so let's wrap up so, for under $150, you can get the tools you'll need to diagnose your vehicle, not all of the time, but for a lot of problems, for a lot of things, you can use this stuff to diagnose. Now, I've got a couple videos coming up for a few different vehicles. We're going to put these to the test. I'm going to show you how to use them, what they do, uh, how the, you know, I'll talk about how they differ from some of these tools that I've had that are now useless for the time being. I'm working on getting that replaced, uh, and I will, but for right now, I'm going to show you guys how you can do this with tools you can buy for under $150. So stay tuned for those videos and you guys are going to learn how to fix your own vehicles and diagnose them as well.